Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Version CS5 of Photoshop first introduced the Puppet Warp tool, which allows you to distort specific areas of an image while leaving other areas unaltered. You can apply Puppet Warp to images, shapes, text layers, and layer and vector masks. Puppet Warp works by placing bending and warping points around your image and then using them to warp the various parts of the image. To use Puppet Warp, first select the layer or mask you want to transform. If you're working with a single image, such as a background, select the element in the image that you want to transform and save it as a new layer with layer mask in the Refine Edge dialog box that we looked at earlier, or save it as a smart object. Now in this case, we've already done that. We selected this flower from our background, and then we saved it with the Refine Edge dialog box as a layer with a layer mask, which we're looking at right here. Now after selecting that layer, choose Edit, and then Puppet Warp from the menu bar. Now Photoshop will display a mesh over the image that we see here. You can toggle the view of the mesh on and off by selecting or deselecting Show Mesh in the Options bar. Now also in the Options bar you use the Mode drop-down right here to set the overall elasticity of the mesh. Distort will give a highly elastic mesh which is good for warping wide-angle images. We'll leave it at normal for now. Density determines the spacing of the mesh points. So you can select fewer points, more points, or leave it at normal. The more points you have, the greater precision control, but adds more processing time when adjusting the image. Expansion, using the slider here, contracts or expands the outer edge of that mesh. Then, in the image, click to add the pins. Now, these pins are used to both warp the image as well as anchor parts of the image that you don't want to change. And this isn't an exact science, so you have to experiment with the best placement of the pins to create the joints that you wish to use to warp the image. We'll place a few in here, like that. So again, you just kind of have to play around with this until you get your desired effect. You can hide the pins in the image by holding down the H key on your keyboard like that. Releasing it displays the pins again. To delete a pin, select it, and then click Delete on your keyboard. Or you can remove all of the pins you've placed by clicking the Remove All Pins button up in the Options bar. To reveal a mesh area you've overlapped with another, click the Pin Depth buttons up in the Options bar, right up here. To rotate the mesh around a pin, select it, add a pin here, so we've selected it, and then press the Alt key on your keyboard. Then place the cursor near to but not over the pin, and when that circle appears, just click and drag to rotate around that particular pin. So you can warp it like that. Now the degree of rotation appears up in the options bar up here. To rotate the mesh automatically based on the selected mode option, choose Auto from the Rotate menu up in the options bar. So again we could go down here, like that. However you want to do that, it's kind of fun seeing it move around click a different pin, rotate that around. Now to bend or warp the image, you just click on any of the pins and drag them to a new desired location. So I could click on this pin here, 
and after I click it I can just drag it to a new location. Do that with any of the pins. And you'll see as you do that these other pins are anchoring the rest of the image. So you can move those around. Now once you've made the changes that you desire you just click enter on your keyboard and you have now used the Puppet Warp tool to manipulate your image. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.